game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble and every move can be your last. High Rollers! And now, here's your host, Brandon Scruggs! And welcome into another edition of High Rollers here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. On our last episode, we had crowned ourselves a new champion here on High Rollers, and she's back with us to see if she can add some more money to her winnings. So with that said, let's meet our players for our first game here on this episode. Starting off with our current champion, she's back with us with a win in her pocket and the tune of $4,000 in cash. Please welcome back Miss Ricky Johnson. Hi, guys. Hi, Brandon. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing pretty well, thank you. I'm good. Um, yeah, I managed to take down a long-standing champion on the last episode there. Um, you, you think you could, your luck's going to hold up with the dice tonight? I sure hope so. Oh, right, best of luck to you. And let's you. see. Let's meet your opponent here, a first-timer here on High Rollers. Please welcome in Mr. Jose Cazares. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Glad to have you aboard, sir. Uh, tell the good folks here on YouTube land a little bit about yourself. Gladly, with pleasure, good sir. Uh, my name is Jose Casares. I am 19 years old. Born and raised in Dallas, Texas, but moved over to Red Oak, and I'm a, a full-time college student. Oh, what are you going to college for? Um, we're getting the basic courses out of the way for now, but we're going to transfer to, I'm going to transfer to a four-year university to get my major in early elementary childhood education. Oh, I see. Fantastic. Always have an appreciation for teachers here uh, on the channel here. So good luck to you in your college career, and good luck to you in today's game. Thank you. All right, we've got our contestants all set up here, so all we need now is put some prizes and some numbers up on the board. So let's start by adding some prizes up here, starting with what we have first off in column number one. Here we have a 60-inch 4K TV and a two-carat diamond ring. Those prizes in column one can buy for a total of $8,286. In column huh, two, okay. we have a home furnace, along with a trip to Puerto Vallarta. We have the trip to France and a den. And with that, we have a wine cellar. So a full column of prizes in column two, breaking that one worth $44,624. Oh. And in column three, to go with the ATV we have there, we have a trip to Amsterdam with over $10,000. Dollars. Breaking column three were fourteen thousand one seventy-five, oh, and a total board value in game one of sixty-seven thousand eighty-five dollars. And, and no, we're not going to add two thousand dollars to that total. No, Thank we're God. not. <laughs> All right, we got the prizes up there. Well, we need now some numbers. Let's go. Uh, I don't think we'd do. have a. Oh, wait, yes, we do. We do have a hot column this time. This column number two players. A roll of twelve clears that middle column and remember of course with our hot column bonus as well if you clear a hot column you'll also pick up an additional five thousand dollars in bonus money so hmm. ch chance for uh some cash bonus cash for our players there all right uh ricky you are a champion you'll be buzzing with the z key jose you are a challenger you'll be buzzing with the m key of course i have some true or false statements uh you buzz in give me the correct answer you get control of the dice all right if you're wrong your opponent gets control all right so hands on Gosh. buzzers here comes your first true or false statement of this game of high rollers we start with this egypt is the most populous country in africa jose false it is false it's actually third behind both nigeria and ethiopia you're right and you've got control of the dice all right, here we go. And you got yourself a seven. Hmm. Let's see. Knock out the seven the hard way. All right, seven the hard way comes off the board. And we'll continue on with this next day. All right, players. When measuring a right triangle, A squared plus B squared. Ricky? I'm going to take a chance and say true. Um, that is actually correct. You got it. What? <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, yeah, the Pythagorean theorem is what we use that as for. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And the measuring of a right triangle, you are correct. And all rolls are good. Yeah, I'm, and I'm a math expert. Pythagorean theorem. No, I'm kidding. All right, come on, Willby. <laughs> You got yourself a nine. Okay. Um, let me do the three and a six. All right. Three and the six both come off the board. Mm -hmm. All right. And all rolls are still good. Here's your next statement. All right. The 13th letter in the alphabet is N. Jose. False. Yeah, it's actually the one before it. It's M. You're correct. All right, you got good dice. All rolls are still good. All right. There you go. And you got yourself an eight. Let's get rid of the five, two, and one. All right, the five, the two, and the one all come off the board. And you got yourself column number one. All right. All right, over $8,000 in prizes can be yours, but again, they're only yours if you win the round. All right, uh, hot column bonus is out of play, and our good rolls left are only 4, 8, 9, and 12. So now, players, if you get the dice, you'll have an option to either play it or pass it to your opponent. All right, here's your next statement. An Olympic-sized swimming pool is 50 meters or 164 feet in length. Jose. I'm going to take a chance and say true. That is a true statement. You are correct. <laughs> yes. All right. Pass. He's I cannot up. risk it. All right, passing it. All right, Ricky. Four, eight, nine, or twelve keeps you in the game. Okay. And oh. six of nine rolled. Jose wins game number one. All right. All right. Good try, though, Ricky. Well Good done game. there, Jose. You've got game number one there. You've also picked up over $8,000 in prizes there. Again, remember, it takes two games to win a match, become champion here. So, Ricky, you have a chance to catch up. We'll see if you can do that as we go ahead and jump into game number two here on High Rollers. And we'll start by reloading column one with a new prize. And in column one, we have an Aegean Sea Cruise worth $33,887. Oh, Great way to start that one off. Column two, of course, the same five prizes there. The home furnace, the trip to Puerto Vallarta, the trip to France, the den, and, of course, the wine cellar there for over $44,000 prizes in column two. And finally, in column three, we're going to add another prize there to go with the ATV and the trip to Amsterdam. We're also adding a trip to French St. Martin worth over $8,600. Making column three now worth twenty-two thousand eight sixty-three and a board boy. value of over one hundred and one thousand dollars. Right. A lot oh of money boy. to be won this round. Let's see what happens as we line up the numbers. And no, and sadly, no hot column in play this ah, round. So no hot column shoot. bonus available in this one. All right. Can't have them all. All right, players, hands on buzzers. Ricky trying to tie it up. Jose going for, going for his second game and try to become champion. We'll start with this. The river, the Rio Grande, flows through South America. Ricky. <laughs> False, it's North America. Yeah, it actually forms part of the Mexico-United States border. You are correct. And you've got uh, the me, dice. Beat me to it. Do this. And we'll start off with a nine. The nine alone. All right. The hard nine comes off the board. Now a roll of seven players will get rid of column number two. Here's your next statement. Spiders have 12 legs. Ricky again. Ah! Ball stamp eight. You're absolutely uh, right. Well done. Beat me. Uh, just beat me again. Yep. The fast fingers helping out Miss Ricky and a dice of yours. She rolls and gets an eight. One, three, four. One, three, and four all come off the board, and you cleared count number wow. two. Oh, wow. And just like that, she picks up over $44,000, goes to her side of the board, but again, they're only yours if you can win the round. So right. bad rolls now are three and four players. Here comes your next statement. Czechoslovakia no longer exists. Jose. True. Yes, yeah, true. In 1993, it was separated into the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic. You are correct. 
<laughs> All right. Bad rolls are three and four. The option is yours. I'm going to roll. Okay. Well, and you got yourself an eight. Well, only one way to get rid of it. The eight the hard way. Actually, there's a couple ways to do it. Oh, oh, wait. No, never My bad. Uh, it's up to you, though. Mm -hmm. just, you tell me how you want to get rid of it. Well, no matter which way I remove it, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get a column. So, just do eight the hard way. All right, eight the hard way comes off the board. All right, baking the bad rolls now. Three, four, and ten. Here's your next statement: Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania are referred to as the Balt. Ricky. True. I knew he's gonna say Baltic. The Baltic states. They're actually located east of the Baltic Sea. You are correct. You kind of cut. You kind of cut out. I couldn't hear the the statement very well. All right, that's yeah, all right. You got it. Uh, good rolls are three. Oh, sorry, bad rolls are three, four, and ten. Ricky, you want to roll it or pass? I'll let Joe have this. Uh, oh, right. interesting. All right, passing to Jose. All right, Jose, avoid the three, four, and ten. You stay in the game. You got yourself a seven. Oh man! Couple options here. Yeah, I know. And once again, then they're not going to remove a column. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do... Oh, this is a tough call here. The seven the hard way. All right, seven the hard way comes off the board, leaving the five, two, and six remaining on the board, players. Here is your next statement. SpaceX is a science documentary television series. Jose. Um, is it true? No, it's false. It's actually uh. a space transport service company. So, Ricky, you've got the option now. Good, bad rolls are, again, three, four, nine, ten. I think I'll pass it again. All right, pass um. it over, all right? Jose, I'm just gonna three, this, four, I'm just nine, gonna or ten. I'm just going to predict this right now. I think Ricky's got his first game, or her first game. No, nope, it's a oh, double. <laughs> just when our players think all hope is lost, a double shows up. So now that, <laughs> so that's a six. That means you get an insurance mark again that protects you from a bad roll. And there's only one way the six comes off the board. So we can yeah. take the six in column three, and that goes on your side of the prize board. Oh man! And also, I kind of made a I kind of goofed I accidentally called Ricky a, a man. I'm sorry about that. That's all right. All right, no worries there. And you've got each player down with a column of prizes. Who's going to take theirs home? We'll find out. Good rolls, left player five, two, and seven clears the board and wins you this round. So control very important on this one. Here comes your statement. Mark Zuckerberg is the founder of the social networking service, Twitter. Rick, ah! False, it's Facebook. Yes, it. Facebook is correct. All right, and I'm going to have to pass again. it. Okay, passing it. All right, Jose, you need a five or a two to stay in the game. However, you can roll a seven. You'll clear column one. You'll pick up the prizes, and more importantly, you'll become the new champion. So when you are ready, give it a roll. <sighs> I've got two shots at it because I got the insurance marker. Here we go. And you got a four. Uh -oh. That's a bad roll, so I'm going to take that insurance Ow. marker from you and ask you to roll again. Ricky, I think you got it. Seven. Oh. That, no, it does not. And that clears the board, and that gives you the game of the match. <laughs> Are you kidding it happened again. Right as I said that I thought Ricky was going to win, <laughs> this happens. A stunned challenger becomes our new champion here on High Rollers. You've got yourself $65,036 in prizes. We'll, you'll play the big numbers here in just a minute. Dang. Ricky, you, you played a very good game there, my dear. Did you have fun Yeah, with good us? game, Ricky. I did. Thank you. And good game, Joe. Well, yeah, I was not expecting that. You did about what you could, but you're not leaving us here empty-handed, Ricky. You take with us four, take from us four thousand dollars all in cash. With our thanks for playing, we'll hopefully have you back in another episode. Okay. I yeah, good job, good job, Ricky. Yeah, what <laughs> under under low odds, and this happened. 
Oh, well, uh, congratulations to you, Jose. You're a new champion. Over $65,000 in winnings so far. We're going to see if he can pick up another $25,000 and possibly take him a brand new car as he takes on the big numbers right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers, Jose, our new champion now with over $60,000 in cash and prizes. And he's going to get his shot here to try to take down the big numbers. Now, Jose, uh, you can play just like our upfront game. Roll the dice, try to remove all nine numbers off the big numbers board. For each number that you do remove, it's worth $250 in cash to you. However, if you can manage to remove all nine, you're going to win $25,000 and a brand new car. Now, determine which car you play for. Each of the big numbers has a car associated with it. Pick one of the big numbers, and we'll see what car you'll be playing for. We're going to go with lucky number seven. All right. Should you beat the big numbers tonight, you'll only will you drive away with $25,000 in cash. You'll be driving away in a brand new Honda Accord for $17,000. Very interesting. All right. So a prize package of forty two grand up for grabs here in the big numbers. There's the magical golden dice. So when you are ready, give them a roll and best of luck to you. Oh, man, with the luck I had in the main game, it could be possible. Here we go. Start you off with a seven. Let's get rid of the seven the hard way. All right, seven the hard way comes off the board. You got $250. Roll it again. And you got a four. Uh, four the hard way. All right, four the hard way comes off up to 500 Seven again. Mm. Let's go with the one and the six. All right, one and six come off the board. Good Two more move, numbers buddy. there. That's a thousand dollars for you. You're almost halfway there. Got yourself a three. Well, only one way to get rid of it. The three. Three comes down. Down to four numbers left. Good rolls. Two, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Let's get it. Let's get a deuce with it for an insurance marker. Nope, you got yourself a seven. Only one oh, way that comes, only comes off. All right, five or two off. At least two good rolls left, the eight and the nine. Best of luck to you. Come on, two fours. And oh, another seven. Oh, dang it. Yeah. Well, I knocked out, I knocked out uh, you seven. Know, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that, that's hard to do mm -hmm. when you don't get a number above a seven. That's hard to eliminate all the numbers off there. But you did very well for yourself. Like I said, you did knock off seven numbers, so that's another seventeen hundred and fifty dollars. And when we add that we add that to your upfront winnings of sixty five thousand thirty six dollars, you have a one game grant grand total now sixty six thousand seven hundred and eighty six dollars. Uh, all right. And more importantly, you, you are more importantly you are a champion, and we're gonna let you um, see if you can add to your winnings. Because we're gonna go ahead and pause for the call. We'll take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more high rollers right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers. Jose, our new champion, now with over $66,000 in cash and prizes, and he's ready to take on his next opponent. So let's meet him now. Coming to us by way of what the great state of West Virginia, please welcome in Mr. Hunter Dillon. Hello there, Brandon. Nice to be on the show. Glad to have you aboard, sir. Sir, first time playing High Rollers with us this season. Yes. Some of you folks out there might know Hunter. He's my long-standing co-host for the Match Game Hollywood Squares hour we do every year. But occasionally, time, time to time, he'll pop in and play a few games along with us here on the channel. So, Hunter, tell the folks at home a little bit more about yourself. Well, uh, also, I am the former host of Classic Concentration and the current host of the soon-to-debut Daytime Jeopardy. But other than that, I had just turned 25... I'm a board game collector, I'm a video game fanatic, I am a game show fan, and I try to be an aspiring game show host, and in my spare time I like to, you know, just try and be happy. Right, and like I said, and we, all, other people happy. And we all need to find more happiness, especially in this day and age. 
Mm -hmm. All right, but are you ready to play, sir? Yes, I am. All right, well, best of luck to you both. Let's see what the prize board's going to look like for this game. Starting, of course, in column one, we have the jewelry package there, and that is worth $10,998 there. Woo! The column two, wow. we, have the home, we have the same five prizes that are still there. The home furnace, the trip to Puerto Vallarta, the trip to France, the... Then, and finally, of course, the wine cellar. Again, over $44,000 in prizes in column two. And finally, in column three, we have the trip to Germany. We're $24,056 there. Making our board value in game one of this matchup $79,678. No, we cannot Great. add $20 to that total. No way. All right. So there's the, there's the prizes. Now we need some numbers. Boom. Ooh. And looks like our hot column is column two. Players with a roll of ten get you the biggest prizes, biggest column of prizes on the board, plus the five thousand dollar hot column bonus. All right, Jose, of course, is the champion. You'll be buzzing in with the Z key. Hunter is the challenger. You'll be buzzing in with the M key. All right. Okay. All right. Hands on buzzers, players. Here comes your first true or false statement of this matchup here on High Rollers. We start with this. Mount Kilimanjaro is located in Africa. And that's Hunter. That is true. That is a true statement. In the country of Tanzania, to be specific, you are right, and you've got the dice. <laughs> okay, let's see some big numbers here. I'd like a 10, please. Oh, you oh, shall receive with a oh, double oh. 10. Give me the 1, give me the 2, give me the 7, and clear that column. Column oh, you got 2, it. got it. Hot column bonus. <sighs> And just, I don't think my buzzer responded on that last question. Good job, Hunter. Just like Thank you. that, Hunter is off to the quick <laughs> start <laughs> there. 44000 in prizes plus the $5,000 hot column bonus, which is his to keep no matter what happens. So, column two is already gone. Two columns remain. Let's see what happens as we continue on with this next statement. By the way, technically, all rolls still good. Here it comes. James Cameron's avatar is set on the planet Dagobah. Hunter again. No, false. Yes, Pandora is the name of the planet. You are right. And all rolls are still yours. All right, doesn't matter what I get now. And you got a five. Take the five. Five it is. And five comes off the board. Bad rolls now five players in this one. Here comes your next statement. New Zealand is an ocean country. Hunter again. I believe that's true. It is a true statement. You are correct. Dang. All right. You've got an insurance marker and the only bad roll is a five. Roll or pass. Took the words right out of my mouth. Let's roll them, please. Okay. Got it. Dang. Come on, 12. Oops. Try again. Wrong button. Come on, 12. You got a nine. Couple options okay, uh, let's take the nine off the board, please. All right, big nine comes off the board. And looking for a roll of three now to clear column three there for $24,000 more in prizes. Here's your next statement. The hip-hop group, the Black Eyed Peas, consists of two people. Jose. Is it false? It is false. It's actually four of them. Will I am, Apple okay, Diak, Furby, and like, Taboo. You are right. How's the Cause they're not working. No, the buzzer works. Hunter's just <laughs> slightly faster on it. I was like, I hadn't responded for three statements. I was like, All right. okay, we're... All right, bad roll is five. Roll it or pass. Only one bad roll. I'm going to roll. All right, go for it. Oh. Okay. Roll, and you got yourself an eight. Oh, well, way to get rid of it, the eight. Okay, big eight comes off the board. And now bad rolls are five, eight, eleven... Yeah, 5, 8, and 11 essentially are your bad rolls now. Uh, roll of 10 clears column 1, or roll of 3 clears column 3. Here's your next statement. An atheist is someone who believes the existence of... Hunter? False. Believes the existence of many gods? False is correct. It's actually oh, yes. essentially an atheist who doesn't believe the existence of any deity. All right, bad rolls are 5, 8, and 11, sir. Roll or pass. I was afraid I bust in too early there, but I'm going to roll. I have a marker. All right, insurance okay. marker in your pocket. Let's okay. A three, a seven, or a nine. I would like a three, seven, or a nine, please. 
That's a double. Oh, that's a six. Man, that's a good roll. Take the six, please. Another insurance Take marker in your marker, pocket. Here. And now the combination of four, three, and seven on your good rolls remaining players. So control very important on this one. Here's your next statement. The Wolf of Wall Street is a film by Oliver Stone. Oh, I believe that's true. No, it is actually false. Oh. Actually, Martin oh. Scorsese directed the film there. All right, so Yeesh. Jose, you caught a break, sir. You've got the control. You've got no insurance markers. The only good rolls are three or four. But if you roll a seven, you clear the board and take game one. You can pass it, though, to Hunter, but beware he has two insurance markers. So what do you want to do? Hmm. Is seven the most common roll you can get like, with the dice? That is correct. Hmm. Yeah. While that is true, I have no... But then again, it's only the first game. Mm -hmm. But that would put the pressure on me. I, I can't risk it. I gotta pass. Even though he has two markers, I have to pass. Alright, Hunter, the dice coming to you. All you have to do is three or it. four it. keeps you in the game. However, roll a seven. You clear the entire board and take game one. Alright. Seven come eleven. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> it's a oh. double, but it's a two. Okay. All right, so that just okay. means you get a free Still roll. Two markers. Still in two markers in your pocket. Roll again. All right, <laughs> let's try it again. Seven come eleven. Papa needs a brand new car. Got a three. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Three comes off the board. You get column number three for that. Another Dude. twenty-four thousand goes on your side of the board. And now the only good roll left is the almighty four. So gonna come down to this next statement here. So control very important on this one. Hands on buzzers. Here it comes. The famous explorer Christopher Columbus was Portuguese. Jose. Mm. True? Fool! Oh, false. Mm. He was Italian. He was from Genoa oh, specifically. He's going to pass it to me and I'm going to lose. All right, Hunter. Ball's in your court. You, if you get a, f if you want to roll it, you have two insurance markers. All you need is a four to clear the entire board and take game one, or you can pass it to Jose. Jose thinks he, I'm going to pass it to him, and he's going to fail. No, That's I'm going to play. I'm going to play. What? Right. Wow. I have two markers. He's got three shots. All you have to do is roll a four. You will clear the entire board and take game number one. If I cannot roll a four in three attempts, then there is something. Come on, four. That's a double. That's a six. It has something wrong. I, did, I didn't know. All right. So six is unfortunately a bad roll, but it's a double. So we're just going to. I'm going to keep this insurance marker and ask you to roll again. All right. Come on, four. It's a four. He gets it. He clears game the board. Game one. <laughs> Hunter clearing the entire board of prizes. Congratulations to you, sir. $79,678 plus the $5,000 bonus for clearing the hot column. Hunter, already t t on this on this game, you've cleared over eighty-four thousand dollars in cash and prizes already. He's already won more than me, and he's not the champ. Wow. Well, the important thing is, though, Jose, you can still catch up because again, we played those two out of three, and you've came from behind before. So let's see if you can do it again here. That means we're gonna put some more brand new prizes up on the board for game number two. So let's see what we got. Starting in column one. We have a cash prize of $25,000. Okay. Very nice. And column two, we have a trip to Scotland worth $15,668. And finally, in column three, we have a barbecue island worth $30,106, making our total board value in this second game $43,774. <sighs> Yes, apparently the bonus round has decided to join us here in the main game. For If you can clear column one, it's worth 25000 a gash. Let's see who gets it as we load in the numbers. Column one! Oh! Column two is the hot column. Oh, oh, column two, once again, the hot column there. The trip to Scotland is yours with a roll of 12. 
And it took a fifteen thousand dollar trip over across the old pond over there to Scotland. So again, Jose needing this one to play catch up. Hunter trying to become the champion here. As we start with this statement. The CIA stands for the Central Intelligence Agency. Hunter. Oh, that is true. That's a true statement. You are correct. Just be we take the insurance markers back, of course, from the, for this round, so you start fresh. All rolls are good. All right. Uh, let's get a... I don't even want the 12. I just want something good. Well, we start with the common roll, the 7. Okay, let's take the 7 off by itself, if All you right. please. The big 7 comes off the board. Now a roll of 6 puts $25,000 in cash in your pocket. Next statement. Pearl Harbor is located in Japan. Hunter. That is false. Yeah, uh, it's on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. You are correct. I've All only answered one, or had the opportunity to buzz in twice. Then so. right. Hunter's All good. Yeah. All rolls are good, Hunter. Go ahead. I've proven to be pretty quick on the buzzer in a lot of these games I've played. Let's see that six. Ah! Six asking, you shall Ruin receive. The four, give me the money. <laughs> Two and four come off. Put the money in his on his side of the board there. Ah, Hunter's abusing me right now. He's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Hunter with the fast hands, the fast buzzer, and the fast cash. Twenty five thousand on your side of the board, but again, that's only yours if you win the round. All right, I was like, you're not out of it yet. Still plenty of game left. Here's here's your next. I'm not statement. mad. Here's your next. I'm statement. not mad, even though it sounds like I am. It's all right, no worries. Here's your next statement. The Jurassic is a geologic period and system. Jose? Uh, hope this, I hope this doesn't cost me. True. A period and system that extends from 201.3 to 145 million years ago. True is the correct answer. Woo! <laughs> the super early guess on the anticipation pays off, and Jose, you've got control of the dice. Essentially, all rolls are still good, so go ahead and roll it. All right, here we go. Give me that 12. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Did somebody tell me we were calling shots today and forgot to tell me? Okay, you got a 12. There's one good Clear one. that hot column. Hot column is yours. The one, the five, and the six all come off. You've got column two, and you've got the $5,000 bonus. I think my good luck has rubbed off on him. <laughs> I think it has. <laughs> all right. Both players leaving with at least Damn. five grand in cash today. We'll see what, how it happens. And this game has gone very quickly now. Down to three numbers left on the board. The eight, the nine, and the three in column three. We'll see who gets it. Here is your next statement. There are one million cycles per second. Hunter? Ooh, true. In a gigahertz. That is actually false. There's actually one billion cycles per second. Okay. Ooh. All right. Quick in early anticipation cost you there. And, Jose, you have the option. The good rolls are 3, 8, 9, 11, and 12, and you have an insurance marker. Hmm. Because oh, he could potentially clear the board here. No, no not actually, on, not I can't. This roll. can't. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Yeah, never mind. Hmm. He has no markers, correct? That is correct. Yes. Yeah, insurance markers do not carry over between the rounds. Sorry, Hunter, but that good luck has got to okay. run off at some point. I got it's okay. okay. I've been unlucky this week. It doesn't matter. I just had that one just. Big burst to good luck earlier. I'm okay. All right, Hunter. It's all yours again. You need a 3, 8, 9, 11, or 12 to stay in the game. Watch. It's going to be a 7. There you go. It is. It's an 8. Oh, it's a double. Oh, nice. Oh, oh you I, exactly. Everybody's all like, oh, I'm going to lose this one. Like, wait till the dice roll and see what happens, folks. Reverse psychology. All right, you got the eight, so the only way it comes off the board is the eight, and you got the insurance marker. So now, the, now the board can be cleared with a roll of twelve players. So we'll clear the board and win you the round. So control very important. Here's your next statement: An Alexandrine is a line of poetic meter comprising. Hunter. True. 
Comprising of six syllables. No, it is false. It's actually 12. No. 12 oh. syllables was it. All right, Jose. Situation is good rolls 3, 9, and 12. You both have an insurance marker. Option's yours. Roll it or pass. Do question if you pass. Now, if it. this was... Sorry. I would have actually rolled myself if it was the first game, but this isn't. He has one win, and I'm doing this one to keep myself alive. With that much pressure, I can't risk it. I have to pass. All right, Hunter, dice coming your way. Three, nine, or tw three or nine, keep you in the game. A roll of 12 makes you the new champion. If I but like roll Brandon a nine, said, we got to wait until a dice. I'm yeah, going to yeah. tell you this. If I roll a nine, I am going to probably pass out right in front of everybody. What have you rolled? But let's hope. Come on. And the roll is a oh, nine. Who passed out? Pass out, dude. Do you believe this? Well, the, the nine rolls. We take the nine off the board, leaving the old like Brandon said, free. you got to wait till the dice roll. No? Good. Jesus. Conclusions. Wow, what a game already, folks. And we come down to the final number on the board, this time a three. So control, very important on this one. Both yeah, players with an insurance it. marker. Here comes the almighty statement. Players' fingers on buzzers. A handball is a a handball ball is bigger than a volleyball ball. Hunter. Oh, that is false. That is false. The volleyball is the bigger one of the two. You are right. Uh, you have the option. You want to take the dice yourself or pass it to Jose? I am going to rub Jose. Not, not, no, it's, don't, it's, it's, this is not what you think because I got to rub the good luck on him. I'm giving him the dice. All right. Jose, uh, dice coming your way. You got two chances. All you need to do is roll a three. You clear the board and you tie up the match. This has happened before, so... You've done it before, you can do it. I know, I know. Hunter, here's the minute that you're the good luck is, it carries over. Oh. Now, now I'm playing this to stay alive. Minutes. That's a seven. Oh. Bad roll. All right, so we're going to take the insurance marker. we got one more chance at it. You need a three to win. Doubles to stay alive. Start celebrating, Hunter. Oh, yeah, it's a five. So close. And we have a new champion. GG. It was close, though. God dang. Well, Jose, easy come, easy go, my friend. But the good news is from this game alone, you already have $5,000 guaranteed because you cleared the, you got the hot column bonus. Added to what you had before, you'd leave us here on this game of high rollers with a grand total now of $71,786 in cash and prizes. And our thanks to Clay. Sorry. Well, hey, like I said, if I, if I lose, even if I lost, I... Knowing that I had over five digits worth of stuff, so I don't mind. Well, you're a fine champion here. We look forward to having you back again on another episode. All right? And I played a player. All right. And Hunter, just like that, swooping in, taking all the prizes just about. You so far have a game total now of $109,678 cash of prizes. We're going to see if you can add another $25,000 and possibly a brand new car to that list as we play the big numbers. We'll do that right after the break. Stay with us. That was a good play game. Well done, Jose. Welcome back to High Rollers. Hunter's our new champion with over $109,000 in cash and prizes so far. And now he's hoping to win some more here in the big number, sir. You know how it works, so all I'm going to ask you to do is to pick one of the big numbers and let's see what car you're playing for. Let's go with the number that got me the full board the last, uh, the first game, number four. Number four. Should you beat the big numbers, not only will you win another $25,000 in cash, you'll be driving out of here in a brand new Ooh. Nissan Pathfinder worth $25,780. Oh, man. So a $50,000 prize package up for grabs for you in this bonus round of the big numbers. Here's the magical golden dice when you are ready. Give them a roll, and I say good luck to you. All right. Wish me luck, everybody. Here we go. Come on. 
Start you off with a seven. Let's take the seven off the board, please. Big seven comes off, and you already have $250. Roll again. Set the magic vibes, the good love vibes. Come on, go! Got you an eight this time. Take the eight off, please. Big eight comes off, up to 500 now. All right, let's do it again. Good luck, vibes. And you have a seven again. Take the six and the one, please. All right. Getting rid of that pesky one early, and you're up to $1,000. Still in good shape. Here we go again. It's hey! a double. Nice. There we go. Two and the four, please. Two and the four come off the board. And you've got yourself an insurance marker and $1,500 now. Three numbers away from being a big win. Three, five, and nine are what's left. Go for it. Sending all of my vibes. Come on. A nine. Yes! <laughs> Take the nine. The nine comes off the board up to seventeen fifty now. Boy. A three or five keeps the game going. However, a roll of eight wins you the cash and the new car. Oh, oh, boy. oh, my vibes are coming. Come on, Come under. on. Eight for a car. Eight for a car. Eight for a car. Oh. Oh. Seven. Bad roll. So I got to take that insurance marker back. All right. Another chance. You must roll a three, five, or eight to continue playing. Get a I, let Get me a tell double. you something. I hate snow, but never badly have I wanted a snowman than right now. Come on, eight. <laughs> He's got it! He's got the gun! I don't believe it. Oh, amazing. Congratulations to you, Hunter. Well done, Hunter. And I believe it or not, I think you are the first one this season to actually beat the big numbers. 25,000 cash. We add in the value of the car, plus your previous, your upfront game winnings of $109,678. Hunter, you have a one game cash and prizes totaling. One hundred and sixty thousand four hundred and fifty-eight dollars oh cash and prize. Man. That good luck oh, really it. is getting to you. Unbelievable. Well done. And the best part about it is you're actually going to be back with us on our next episode of the Defender Championship and see if you can continue your strive to five because you get to five wins, you retire from the show, and you qualify for our tournament of champions at the end of the season. So we'll see if Hunter can keep winning next time because we're all out of time for this episode. We thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more of it, check out the playlist here on the channel. And if you want to see other great game shows we've done past present or future click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell that way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at mvg productions help me get to my 1000 subscriber goal by the end of 2020 in the meantime between time until the dice come rolling our way once again and we try to give away some more prizes i'm your host brandon scruggs saying thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time for more high rollers take care bye for now Some of our party contestants will receive a supply of Lonely Pup Dog Biscuits. The pet treat dogs and cats both love. Feed your dog low. From Gallery of Homes, a book on home improvement. Gallery of Home Birthdays. If you're selling or buying a home, you'll find that they do their homework from Gallery of Home. A five pound Rat Honey Glazed Pan. Looks as good on the outside as it tastes on the inside from Rat. And one lucky member of our studio arts will receive a key certificate for the purchase of any item listed in the world famous Eagle Catalog. Spiegel, with over 50,000 quality items offering value, selection, and savings, Spiegel, Chicago, 60609. This is Sunny Boy speaking for High Rollers, an FEG Productions presentation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Demon Thousand Network for great more content like this one.